Welcome to the ThinkCell Tutorials. This video shows you how to enter data for your ThinkCell charts. Whenever you insert a new ThinkCell chart, a data sheet will open automatically. If the data sheet has been closed, you can always bring it back by double-clicking the chart or by clicking the Open Data Sheet button that you'll see in the bottom right corner when the chart is selected. This is what the ThinkCell data sheet looks like. It's based on Excel, so you can use it just as any regular Excel spreadsheet. The layout of a ThinkCell data sheet depends on the chart type. In bar charts, for example, columns contain the data for a single series, while in column charts, rows contain the data for a single series. Let me show you how to work with this data sheet. You simply type or copy-paste your values into the cells of the data sheet. The chart will instantly reflect these changes. You can navigate through the cells with the arrow keys or, for example, use the Tab key to move to the next column in a row and the Enter key to jump to the first column of the next row. You can use all the same shortcut keys and formulas as in Excel. The Data Sheets ribbon has the standard Excel buttons for Undo, Redo, Cut, Copy, and Paste, and for formatting cells. You'll recognize the buttons for deleting and inserting rows or columns as well. You can also use Excel files as the data source for your ThinkCell charts. To find out how to do this, please watch our tutorial video about Excel data links. When you enter your data, you don't need to calculate totals. ThinkCell does this for you in the charts labels automatically. For many chart types, years are automatically inserted as category labels in the first row of the data sheet. The sequence of years is automatically continued when you start entering data in the following column. If you want to use some other values for the category labels, you can simply type over the year sequence. You can enter your data either as absolute or as relative values. The percentage button in the ribbon always lets you toggle between the two interpretations of your column's data. However, for the display of the values in the chart itself, it doesn't matter if you enter percentages or absolute values. You can use absolute values in the data sheet but show percentages in the chart's labels, for example, or vice versa. To do so, just select the Label Content option you want to use from our floating toolbar menu, and ThinkCell will perform the necessary conversion for you. To learn more about this, please watch our video on Label Content. Let's have a look at a simple data sheet with just absolute values. For charts showing absolute value labels only, the 100% row on top of the chart can be left empty. If you choose to label the same chart with percentages, they'll be calculated from the absolute values. If the 100% row is empty, ThinkCell assumes that the sum of each column is 100%. If the sum of your values doesn't match 100%, you can enter them in the 100% row. Here's an example. Let's say your 100% is equal to a value of 50. So you type that value into the 100% row, and ThinkCell recalculates the percentage labels in the chart accordingly. By default, the data sheets of some charts use percentages, while those of most other charts use absolute values. The charts which use percentages in the data sheet are 100% charts, area and MECO charts with percentage axes, as well as pie charts. Now, suppose you'd like to work with percentages in your data sheet. That's no problem. Again, you can choose to label the chart with absolute or relative values regardless of the way your data is represented in the sheet. If you use percentages in the data sheet but want absolute values to be shown in the chart, you only need to fill in the absolute values that represent 100% in the 100% row. Now, let me show you the transpose sheet function and when to use it. ThinkCell displays chart segments in the visual order of the cells in the data sheet. If you prefer the way Excel orders chart segments, simply click the transpose sheet button. When you do so, 
The row and column data, together with any category series interpretation, are swapped. In cases where you have to deal with a large amount of data, this transpose sheet function is a good way to make data entry easier. It can also help to make your data more accessible at a glance without having to scroll. The transpose sheet function is also convenient if you're copy-pasting data from an Excel sheet that has a different category series orientation than the ThinkCell default. When you insert a flip chart, ThinkCell still makes sure that the visual order of the data sheet matches that of the chart segments. If for any reason you want to flip the data in the data sheet, you can use the Flip Rows or Flip Columns button in the Data Sheets ribbon. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website for more ThinkCell tutorials.